Can I take your order? What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Leaky. Feel me coming at y'all with another reaction video, man. Now look, 7 p.m. Central Time daily uploads, bro. You already know if you're not here on time, bro. Me and you gonna have a major problem on our hands, bro. So you better be here on time, bro. Or else, my nigga. But I uh, appreciate the support nonetheless. And just that um Sydney Sweeney girl. I think she was on she was on U Euphoria, right? Ain't that, ain't that the show? On Euphoria, she was looking kind of mid, but. She kind of grew on me. She looks good. I ain't gonna lie, baby. Look, wait, wait till I, wait till I get real, 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 real famous, and you know who your boy Leak is. I'm gonna get you. you know me, handsome guy. All I need is the clout, real quick, and then I'm gonna get you, my baby. But look, that ain't what this video is about, bro. This video is called "Why Did You Ghost Me." It's one of them true for drink. You know, we didn't see some of these videos before when they sit at the table and the last video the dude was like a virgin. He like slapped her cheeks, all the other stuff. So we're going to get into the video, man. I got my Burger King here so that you can see. Let's get the video cooking. Hi, I'm Sydney Sweeney. And I'm yeah. Glenn Powell. From the new sexy comedy, Anyone But You, a movie about... It's so crazy, bro, because when I was watching the video, people was like, ooh, the Sydney Sweeney girl, the Sydney Sweeney girl. And I was watching, I mean, not the movie, but the show, Euphoria. And I was watching, I'm like, bro, she don't even look that good. Boy, was I wrong. She looks great. I ain't gonna lie to you. Out of two people who, after a disastrous first date, have to pretend to be a couple at a destination wedding in Australia. It's a pretty long flight. Do you want anything from the front of the boat? I'm all good on creatine and small dick insecurity. Nothing small about me. To celebrate our film's release, let's all right, watch buddy. real people who she have good. had a dead-end first date play a truth or drink. Oh, okay. Field first dates. Answer or take a shot. My name is Ali. Uh, I'm Ethan. I am Alvaro. Hi, I'm Mia. What are you doing here? That's a good question. What am I doing here? <sighs> we went on a date. It didn't go <laughs> too well. I didn't remember your name. You don't have to fucking say that. I didn't mind. remember your name. Let's start off with a shot. Yeah? Oh, man. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To our failed first date. Oh. I'm trying to see who ghosted who right now. OK. I'm, th I'm feeling like I'm feeling like he goes to her for sure. I don't know. I feel like he goes to her probably. We met. Oh lord. I don't know. I feel like we had like some mutual friends, right? Yeah, we had mutual friends and we met at a party. Describe how we met. No, nah, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful meeting girls with when, when the liquor involved, bro. I ain't gonna lie. They went to a party and met, bro. You gotta be. See, I'm not into the whole one night stand. You feel me? Cause when you drunk, I don't even think. I'm pretty sure you can't even get consent, no matter who it is. So that's already dangerous anyway. But you drunk, right? You go out for a night to drink. You feel me? You bring a shorty home, right? I would advise, niggas, take her home that same night, bro. Because imagine you drunk, right? Because when you drunk, you got on them goggles, bro. You got on them goggles. A five turned into an eight type shit. You feel me? You got on them goggles, bro. You didn't you didn't brought her home. You feel me? You done laid in the bed with her, y'all done got active, you know, had a good time. You feel me? Y'all still drunk, by the way, right? You wake up, a lot of things can go wrong, my nigga. You feel me? She done stole your wallet, stole your keys, stole your cat, all that shit, bro. She done, you wake up, you turn, she done went from an 8 out of 10 to fucking Booker T. <laughs> so, I would advise niggas to, if y'all get drunk with these shorty, bro, and y'all have a good time, and you know, bro, take them home that same night, bro. Because it'll be crazy you wake up, bro, your wallet gone, bro. Your keys gone, your house on fire, bro. She done stole your PlayStation 5, bro. That'll be crazy work. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. So you look good, though. Who is this? I was dancing on a table, and I saw you, and I said, hey, come on up. <laughs> come on up and dance with me. I was really drunk. Mm -hmm. So we were here See? for a cut video in the green room for like six hours together. She we was... were actually playing truth or drink we were. in there. They asked me for my sexuality. I was like, oh, you want to know so bad what my it sexuality is, It was a truth is, or huh? drink question related. No, OK. Why did you ask me out? I asked you out because I thought you were beautiful. There was an immediate connection. As soon as you pulled me in, as soon as you like saw me and reeled me in, you know, you were, she kind of did like this, like kind of like come over here type of. So I thought that was pretty confident, and uh, yeah, I really like that. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. It hit different. It hit different when the girls rears you up, bro. It really don't take much. It hit different. I tell y'all all the time, bro. That one time, bro, I was I was chilling, bro, and it was like Halloween. 
And this girl had on like, oh, she was Britney Spears. She had on the Britney Spears outfit, right? And she was like, her name was like Brit or something, I'm pretty sure. And she walked by. I've been looking at her a couple times. And she looked at me and she said, ooh. And I'm like, what? She was like, you look yummy. My nigga, I almost fell out right there on the floor, my nigga. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I was so shook. I was like, what you mean by that? Nigga, I clearly know what that means. But I was just so shook that she said that to such a guy. Such a guy like myself. Because I ain't never heard that before. Tell me, you look yummy. Nigga, you want something to eat? Nah, let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. Let me chill. But, yeah, that was just a crazy... I, I forget. I remember that moment forever. I ain't gonna lie. Why'd you ask me out? Oh, shit, dude. I was crushing. Okay. I was crushing on you. You were studying the same thing as me? Mm-hmm. So I thought that was super sick. Yeah, mutual interest. Yeah. yeah, we had great conversation. On a scale from one to ten, rank our date together. <laughs> I'd say the first part was like a nine or a ten. It was a really good date. He actually took my virginity that night. <laughs> wow, she okay. had the ghost to ghost him. Yep. <laughs> see guys. I told him. See guys. See, I'm, 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 uh, 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 I'm gonna do a lot of blabbering in this video. I'm, got, I'm not gonna lie, bro, because I, I feel like I gotta let y'all know how I be. Some people don't know how I be out here, bro. Just cause she don't let you hit on the first date, don't date don't mean she not gonna let somebody else hit on the first date. You feel me? This girl was a virgin. She let him clap, right? You think she gonna do that again? Based off what this video is titled, it's called "Why Did You Ghost Me?" She probably got clapped, right? Felt bad and ghosted him. So the next dude, he's not gonna. He's he's most likely probably not gonna hit on the first date. You feel me? That's just how it goes, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a cold world out here. Cold world. She gonna make you put in the effort effort for months. She let him clap the first date. Sometimes stuff just don't line up. You know, you feel me? You gotta take the L on it. I'm still trying to take the L on it. Because I be, I be getting upset. I got a lot of pride, bro. There's no way somebody clapping the first date. And then you want me to take you on five dates. And and for me, for me, to, get, for me to get a hug and a kiss on the cheek. No. I'm not doing that. I'm not. As it was happening. So I let him know. He knew. But, but it was as it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> and then? Her car got broken into. And that really just made my mood go pew, You know? Yeah, it was kind of awkward after that. Her uh, car got broken into. I don't know. Into. I'd say it was probably like, like a four or five, Oh maybe. my god, maybe. okay, okay. It was, it was not great. We had both smoked. I wasn't really a big smoker, so I feel like maybe my perception of the date might have been a little bit worse than it was. I was gonna say like a seven. Really? I didn't think it was Holy that bad. Shit, but dude. I was just a little caught off guard when you when you made me dinner. I did make and dinner. And you. You didn't just make dinner, though. You pulled out a table. I did you do that. You pulled out a table. I did do that. The See, that's, that's, some, that's some old head mentality, bro. I got one homie that be doing shit like that. He be, he be, he be telling shorty he gonna cook him breakfast in the morning and all this. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's some old head shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a rose. What was the aftermath? Describe what happened after we left each other. I thought it was gonna go somewhere. I don't know. I thought we were cool. We texted a little, and we didn't really talk until like I contacted them for this. I think for me it was just more so. Maybe like... there was like someone else. <laughs> I love to what be on one the of these shows. Um, describe what happened after we left each other. I feel like it's just as like from a women's perspective for safety. The way you didn't wait for me to drive out of the parking garage. But you were in your car, correct? I was in my broken car. Well, the next couple days, you you see me, you see me trying. I'm texting you. And she's ignoring me, <laughs> and, and she's responding sometimes. <laughs> right? And this gets cool. You know, I mean, like I get it. People are busy. Like, Do you? Yeah. Nah, that nigga. Seems like nah, you know. It, yeah, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, see, she told him straight up. This nigga, come on, bro. You gotta be aware, bro. Shorties be. I be on my phone all day. I know these shorties be on their phone, bro. You feel me? Don't let them. Don't let them play with you, bro. Don't let them play with you. It took a while for her to uh, come around again. If you know what I mean. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about me? Oh man. You can choose to drink. No, I'll, I'll answer the question. Okay. Yeah. I think favorite would be eyes. Least favorite, I'll take a shot with this too. Least favorite. Uh, yeah, her eyes is fire though. Her attitude, the way she kind of like jumps to assumptions a little bit. I'm gonna take a shot before she beats my ass. Like, I really like having conversations with you, like deep, like meaningful conversations with you. And I, I guess the least favorite thing, I don't know, you're just you're a little bit loud sometimes. Loud? Yeah, you're a little bit loud. 
<laughs> okay. I'm offended. I'm offended wow. by that. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she looked like a loud person, though. I ain't gonna lie. This she looked, you well, I wouldn't even say loud, just very outgoing. You, uh, you feel me? She all smiles right now. I feel like she's very outgoing and energetic. I wouldn't even say loud, you know? I wish we had continued seeing each other romantically. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Sometimes, like, she communicates really well her feelings when we argue, but she walks like six feet in front of me, she doesn't hold my hand, like she doesn't give a fuck about me. So I'm like, how am I supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Like, Why didn't you call or answer my calls after our date? Yeah. It, it's okay if you hurt me. It just didn't seem like you were serious. Bro, these, bro, this shit, I don't know, bro. Why well, I feel like I've seen this girl before? Or well, I met this girl before, bro. I didn't met a lot of people, so I, I wouldn't put in past anything. I'm not gonna lie, but she looked kind of familiar. I'm not gonna lie, bro. How do you know that? Because we... we met at a club. Oh. I think you're a little bit of a player. It's true. I mean, when the table came out, I was like, okay, yeah, this is someone that goes on a lot of dates, that has a lot of girls over. It was premeditated. Yeah, I won't so lie. that was. <laughs> That's that like was my homie, room. bro. His ass be cooking. I've only used shit. that table a couple times. I swear. Uh, I swear. Okay. I swear yeah. I got it. I swear yeah. to God. Would you want to bring me home for the holidays? No. <laughs> the whole explaining I would have to do for my family, because they'd be How like. How would you introduce them to your family? What would they label me? Mom, this is. The guy who took my virginity. <laughs> That would be a great holiday. Oh, my grandma would have a heart attack. How would you introduce him as? Ooh, I would introduce him That's as Ethan. <laughs> the guy that I'm kind of seeing. That's what I'd say. I wouldn't call you a friend. I wouldn't call you a boyfriend. Would you bring me home? Yeah, definitely, actually. I, I would say, hey, this is Allie, uh, my homie. Okay. That's how, I mean, that's how I say it. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, I think that's just you. Yeah. Would you bring me home for the holidays? Yes, you would. No offense, but no, because like really? we, we that's what that's what that, that's what we needed to hear right there. Look, break that wall down, nice, nice, bro. Break all that shit down, bro. These girls get compliments twenty four seven, bro. Especially good looking women, bro. She didn't shit it on you, shit it on you. Ain't answered your calls, all that. She uh, she answered she answered for you. She tried to answer for you, bro. Maybe that's, awesome. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, I think that's just you. Yeah. Would you bring me home for the holidays? Yes, you would. Look, 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 look. Because I just know I'm a bad bitch. Like, bro. No offense, but no. Because, like, really? we, we Thank haven't you. been a thing. So, like, my family's going to be like, Ugh. You wouldn't bring me home for the holidays? No. Come on. Would you? Okay, it's... No. No offense. I like that you no, stood up for yourself. Like, really? But we haven't been a thing. But so, look, like, my family's going to be like, you wouldn't That's bring me home for the holidays? No, come on. That was that was a little zesty, my guy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. This could be one of the reasons she ghosted you, bro. Man, that, this could be one. No, this this not even disrespect to my guy right here, bro. This can be one of the reasons that she trying to treat you like such. You feel me? Talk about some. Yeah, you will. You will. Not respond. And she literally told you, yeah, you didn't get the message. She's trying to shit on you, bro. I like that you responded accordingly, you know, broke all that down, but the zest, bro, the zest. The zest, bro. Would you? Okay, it's different with a guy, but like me? Yeah, it's different with a guy, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But it's true. So you're saying no, and My I'm saying no. My very protective. That's fine, but like you wouldn't either because you know that like there needs to be time and, and maybe a couple no. family get togethers. Would, me. would you put- No, no, you don't gotta explain, bro. That's you, you, you talking too much, bro. Hit her with a nah, like we not a thing like that. You feel me? Or hit her with something a little more, you feel me? I like that. Hey, if I let y'all in on a secret, bro, don't tell nobody, bro. Sometimes, bro, if you break a shorty down, bro, I feel like, I don't know if everybody know this. If you break her down, she'll really, like, want you more, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. It was one girl. She said, this one girl, bro, she said I wasn't even attractive, bro. That's the thing. And I literally watched a video on how to, like, manipulate girls, bro. I know, I know. I was in high school. I was in high school. I watched the video, bro. And they was like, yeah, she gets compliments all the time. Break her down. And I told her, bro, I, I'm, I'm, I promise, bro, I'm not lying when I tell you this, bro. I told her, I was like, yo, um, like, I'll text her. I'll be like, you not even, you don't even really look that good. And she'll be like, boy, you know I look good, all this other stuff. I'm like, you all right. I kept doing that every time I talked to her, right? Bro, when I finally smashed, bro, guess what she said, bro? I promise I'm not lying. She said, I bet you think I look good now. I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying. I'm not lying, bro. I promise this is what she said, bro. If I can if I can show you 
text message proof I would, bro. I would, bro. She literally said it, bro. That's what's crazy. Right after I smashed, like literally right after I smashed. She said it in person while it was happening, right after it happened, and then she said it over text. I'm not lying, bro. Tell y'all, bro. I'm trying to put y'all on some game. Santa's nice list or naughty list? Naughty. Damn. Naughty. <laughs> Do you see us reconnecting for cupping season? Say no. Yeah, it's cold. But you wouldn't bring me home for the holidays. <laughs> That's crazy. No, no, no. It's cold, and it costs a lot of money when you turn the dial, and, and it, it, you know, I need warmth. Even if you want to say, you supposed to say I don't know. You supposed to say I don't know. She trying to feel. She trying to get get the ego. She wants you to build back into the ego, bro. Don't do it, bro. All right now, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of what we're doing. I don't know about romantically, right? Is that where that's what the question is? Oh, cuffing season is like that. Oh, like I want to hang out with you, you know. You want me to be your low commitment girlfriend? No. Oh my God. Where are you getting this? She'll do it. it. Look at her. She'll do it. Be honest with me. Why aren't we together? We bumped into each other after our first date, and there was a text conversation after that that was rude. They were not choosing to take accountability for themselves, whereas I'm okay with taking accountability where I'm wrong and I don't do something right. That's okay. I didn't do it, and I can move forward from that, but <laughs> stop. Between us, who is more interested in dating? And like at this very moment? Her. Oh, man. On the count of three, you each say your answer. Ready? One, two, three. Me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> that nigga lying, bro. One, two, three. You. I didn't say anything. You. I agree. Her. Not not them anymore. Uh, you don't in know dating, that. In dating, in like being in a relationship. Hey, you don't know that. You gonna give this guy a second chance? I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Are you friends after this? You guys gonna go make out? Oh. Mm. Hey, let's be real though. I'm gonna make up. That's what it is. See anyone but you. All right, come on, dog. Y'all a little freaky ass. I'm happy for y'all, but I'm low key hating too. So you feel? But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And what I'm gonna do? Catch you in the next video. Bye.